for a totally different reason. Michelle, storms again. We're stuck in this pattern, aren't we? We are, especially if you're a day of 80s, and we have a low now stretched out overhead. It actually helped to produce a little bit of uh, localized showers. Just a quick burst out there over the triad earlier, but I want to show you what happened last night. This was sent to us from Dave Aiken. He had some photos sent from some friends over in the British Woods neighborhood in Greensboro. You can see a ginormous tree down in the front yard. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but these were from the thunderstorms that came in actually around 3 a.m. this morning, between 2 and 3. Remember those thunder boomers that might have woken you up? Well, tonight, Night should be a quieter night, but we're just grateful those folks have not seen damage to their home and no one was hurt, luckily. Maybe their landscaping, though, might need a little bit of a upkeep there. It's going to be a busy weekend for a lot of folks who are going to clean up even just tree branches down. We can see more trees down, too, as we go into Sunday. Saturday, though, we're going to get in some scattered shower action, a little bit more active than what we had tonight. You had that brief burst, and this was a line that formed in southern Yadkin County, south of Yadkinville, and then it has fizzled. So we're done with that for now. It also moved through parts of of Greensboro with some quick scattered showers. You've got temperatures at 70 degrees in UNC Greensboro, 67 Pleasant Garden, and 62 in Pofftown. And you're looking at 69 in Boonville. We did have some showers also in northern Davie County near Advance earlier. But with 40 in White Top, we continue to look at some chilly temperatures there. They have been a lot drier during the day, and we still hung on to some of that moisture here in place after a day of 80s. Look at this, 81 degrees. This is the warmest day in Greensboro so far for the year in the triad and most spots as well. 83 in Burlington, Winston-Salem, Greensboro at 82, or Lexington at 82, excuse me. 50 degrees tomorrow morning, so we're mostly clear, and we get you going through the 12-hour forecast with more clouds as early as 10 a.m. Your shower chances build as we head to 3 and 4. Rain chances at 40% and your high temperatures right about 75. Your rain chances also may include some thunderstorms out there. Now we're bookended by marginal risk for severe in the mountains and then out toward the coast. If that changes and as our front gradually pushes east to the coast, things may shift and change here. So you want to check in with us early. All right, 46 degrees tomorrow morning in Mount Airy, East Bend. We take you to 73. Your rain chances also a little later in the day. But we could start to see some scattered showers around 10, uh, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. And that's what we're focusing on is any shifting there and any increased risk for severe. We do have a marginal risk mainly in the western counties in the mountains. We've got 68 degrees for you and rain chances at a pretty good clip at 50%. We have the first warning forecast for you with temperatures out there, as you mentioned, in the 50s, scattered storms though, and then a severe risk that is even more pronounced on Sunday for most areas in North Carolina, Virginia, and South Carolina. We've got those marginal areas that have now pushed back up toward Chapel Hill and just that southeastern corner of Randolph County. So we'll be watching for any changes tomorrow. Your weather impact day tomorrow means that we do have a chance to see some scattered showers and some thunderstorm chances and that's building for us as we head through the afternoon i want to show you the 24-hour forecast you can see what happens out there as those storm clouds build later in the afternoon some may be heavy and you can see some good strong thunderstorms also moving through to the east quick reminder that slight risk area is for sunday and this is including most of the carolinas and then we get you in with a high risk for damaging winds and a threat of hail as well as tornadoes so can't rule that out. Have your NOAA weather radios ready to go and your digital devices all charged because Sunday might be an active day as we keep track of all of the storms for you. 60s, sunny and drier to lead into next week.